Hello everyone, it's Anna from Anna's Paper Creations and I'm back to show you the mini album to go with a pencil holder that I showed in the previous video. So uh, here I've uh, put it in uh, the stand that I also showed. So uh, <laughs> here I used um, the Pion Design Wedding uh, Vintage uh, Wedding Paper again. It's this one, sorry for the glare here. It's a really beautiful paper and I wasn't going for a wedding theme but uh, this really looks like a wedding cake or hat so uh, I uh, tried to make it a bit uh, shabby chic and uh, vintage and so yeah so uh, and uh, also uh, a lot of these laces I've got from my friend Linda and also Vandana and uh, from Annie's Etsy shop and uh, she has a lot of uh, beautiful uh, laces and uh, yeah uh, things to go with it flowers and uh, embellishments and so so uh, but I will show you what I got from her as we go uh, in the video so uh, I will link to her uh, shop below she's become a very good uh, friend of uh, me here on YouTube so uh, please uh, visit her and show her some love if you are looking for some laces or yeah anything to uh, put on your projects so can okay, maybe start on the top here i have a frame and also a heart here with uh, some wings and uh, and um, a bird here a dove with uh, some flowers i can maybe show you this this i also got from uh, annie's uh, shop and the picture in this uh, in the center here is from the vintage wedding paper from Beyond Design. So here are sorry for the glare again uh, these wings. So here I just uh, painted the the pink uh, um, white since I didn't uh, went for any pink or colors in this album, and I also took some stickles and glitter on, and the same for this beautiful dove here. So hope it shows up here. It's really beautiful and she has a really affordable uh, prices and uh, shipping and so so yeah so uh, this is sort of an easel can be pulled out or up like so and stand and be displayed so then I can uh, take this out of uh, this uh, stand here and uh, showed a bit on this and I explained a bit in the previous uh, video how this was made I made uh, this uh, for a good uh, friend of mine and uh, if um, she can have the mini album inside here or uh, she can have uh, the hanging uh, pencil holder so she can choose what uh, she wants to use it for. I can maybe show you this one more time, I showed it in the previous video as well but uh, this uh, uh, pearl spray here that uh, I distressed it a bit with a uh, white paint and uh, this is also from Annie's uh, Etsy shop, Miss Garden Girl 1 and also this uh, flower, I just uh, changed uh, the center here a bit and also this uh, sort of bling trim that I have around here it's really beautiful, I love it so thank you all so much for uh, all the laces you have given me and uh, trims and uh, yeah, things to go with it to all of you. Really appreciate it. So then I maybe can uh, show you this uh, album here. But I think I will uh, flip my camera up so it's more easy to show you. So uh, this album, it's a circle album and it's uh, measured uh, six uh, inch across here. So uh, yeah, I can maybe show you a bit how it uh, looks on uh, the front here with the easel. So I just made it as a regular easel and you can see it's a magnet under here. So I didn't cover that up because I want, there are much uh, laces here. So <laughs> uh, I didn't want any more over here. So I just put on a tape here. So yeah. So then we can open it up and here I have some stretchy lace to bind it together 
so then we can open it up like so. I can maybe show you here as well. Here I used um, some different uh, doilies and uh, trims and uh, yeah, just glued it on with my hot uh, glue gun. And this trim here I also had got from uh, Annie's uh, um, Etsy shop and it's uh, this trim here. It's really beautiful. So I just uh, glued in some pearls inside here. And uh, this uh, was the same as I used for the hanging on uh, on uh, the pencil holder. So, and it's also great to make uh, flowers out of. So, then we can pull it open. So, so the album has uh, five uh, pages. So here you can see a resin uh, flower that I just took some uh, glitter on, and uh, I can maybe show you it without uh, the glitter on. So this is also from Annie's uh, shop and uh, I also have some uh, fabric uh, flower that I used a Tim Holtz dye to cut out. And here I made a sort of a little tag from a magnolia dye and this is from the paper line. I also did some embossing here and I think it was an uh, Sisyx embossing folder. So I have some lace here and here I have a um, punch, I'm not sure, I think it was uh, from Fiskars, this punch here, just to make a belly band. And here is a little glass uh, bottle that I filled uh, with uh, pearls and this is also from Annie's Etsy shop. So then for the next page I have some sprays and uh, seam binding and uh, this was a leftover from, uh, I did uh, cut a lot of laces uh, and so apart so then I used it here. And also this was some on the top of the lace that I used here. And uh, some tags inside here. And this is also a magnolia dye. And here is a butterfly uh, lace. Yeah, some pearls on. And this page can uh, be pulled down, like so. And this I think was from Spellbinders. And here I have some embossed and then now I'm not sure, I think it's a Cuttlebug uh, embossing folder. And one more tag here, so if I haven't colluded it all down, see here. <laughs> so, and here it says the, some uh, wedding, uh, uh, yeah, I'm not sure it says something about the wedding, so I just cut it out and layered it with uh, some other paper. So. So this stacks inside here. So, and then for the next uh, page here, I made a, a rolled opening on the top here. And some, yeah, laces here, and uh, here again I used uh, this heart with uh, wings on, and use some stickles in the middle, and a little tag here, and uh, this is a punch from uh, Marvi. Ushilda, I think it's called. <laughs> Sorry, I don't pronounce it all right, but I hope you understand. So I will also write all on my blog if you wonder or some punches or a dice or so. And here is a little uh, lace heart that I backed on some paper. So I can write something here and another tag here. And uh, this uh, shapes for these two tags here are uh, from an Acucat uh, die. So, and uh, this page here it's uh, magnetic, so uh, here uh, this die I used here is from uh, Mariana Design, so I just got about uh, applique here in the center. And this is a magnolia die from the paper line, and this can be used as a photo mat or do some journaling and also on the back here. So they magnetized and it's also a magnet on this one. So, and some pearls and laces around. So most of them I glued uh, down with my hot glue gun. And it's uh, bounded together with uh, the same uh, stretchy lace and this I think I got from Wild Ochre Crafts. And uh, here again I have uh, used uh, this uh, trim I showed for the flower. And I also have a resin flower in the middle from Annie's uh, Etsy shop. And another tag here with a button and some leaves and so. 
and this uh, uh, die is from Marianne Design and I use some uh, cheesecloth inside here um, postcard from the paper line so and this uh, banner here I think was a die from Tatarit lace and uh, for the next uh, here I uh, made some pockets out of uh, lace I can maybe show you the top first here I have a lot of uh, tags from the paper line so and this is also a shape from uh, Marianne design so it was the same outside shape as this one so and a butterfly on the top here so uh, here are a lot of small tags pulled in and this is an uh, embossing folder, I'm not sure you can see it from uh, Sissix, I think some more tags here so there are uh, three pockets, one here, one pocket here and one pocket here so and here I cut out uh, the rows here from this trim here so, yeah. and now for the last uh, pages here so again some laces and uh, some pearls and seam binding and uh, this angel here on top uh, covered up some uh, wedding uh, sayings on the top here so. and from the paper line I really love this uh, vintage feel images they are beautiful and another with some pearls around here so and a lot of uh, these laces I colored in uh, in coffee. This was uh, white, and I just dipped it in some coffee. So and another little tag stuck under here. And now for the last uh, cover here, it's also a magnetic. So and this is also a die from Marianne Design. And some more tags, and this is from tag uh, die from uh, Magnolia have some lace and so around here so it holds together with the magnets here so some seam binding and a pearl here and some spray and the back side I just uh, used um, some uh, laces that I glued around and then I this was standing out so I just folded them down so it would lay flat and also a flower here from Annie's Etsy shop so uh, this uh, was my project and it was really fun to work with uh, laces again and uh, yeah really love doing that sometimes so i hope uh, you maybe can use some ideas and that it's inspiring and uh, also if you have any questions uh, please uh, look below the video just click show more and then you will find uh, the link to my blog where i answer questions and also the link uh, to the blog post where I have uh, taken some pictures and uh, will uh, write uh, the names of the dice. And you will also find the link to uh, Annie's uh, Miss Garden Grow Etsy shop. So take care everyone and have fun creating. Bye bye.